This is planet Earth, home to 7 billion humans. But you already knew that. Somewhere on that planet, an unimaginable environmental crisis is happening. It's being called the 2015 Southeast Asian Haze Crisis. It even has its own Wikipedia page. I'm from Malaysia, a tropical country known for its beautiful weather and clear blue sky. But this is what outside looks like in September. This invasion of the sky by a giant cloud of fine particles from across the Malaccan Strait happens once every two years. It began in 2005, 10 years ago when I was 13. I remember when I was in Form 1, that's 7th grade, I had to take a school test in Malay, it's called Papariksaan, and Malaysian school classrooms are protected from the outside world by this iconic adjustable window we call Pingkap Boleh Laras. All schools here have them. It's designed to keep the classroom cool using outside air, but it was never intended to keep out the massive air pollutants that had accumulated over my school and the rest of Malaysia in 2005. So the haze was all around us, inside the classroom as we were doing the exam. As a Malaysian, that was my first long-term memory about the haze. In Form 1, I also learned about a simple chemical reaction involving carbon, the stuff that living things are made of, and oxygen, a colorless, odorless gas that humans need to survive. Textbooks call it combustion, but it's commonly known as burning. When an atom of carbon combines with a molecule of oxygen, the energy trapped inside what is being burned is released. Close up, we feel it as heat against our skin. But this simple 7th grade chemical reaction also produces another colorless, odorless gas that in the right amounts is also important to the balance of life on Earth, carbon dioxide. We hear a lot about this gas on the news. People are saying that it's causing the warming of the planet and it's going to bring about the end of all human life. But this gas, carbon dioxide, is actually an important ingredient in maintaining the planetary biosphere, in maintaining the balance of the environment. You can't live without it and you can't live with too much of it. What's happening in the case of the Malaysian haze is that combustion is occurring in an extreme Stream over 9,000 amount as a result from human causes in the neighboring island nation of Indonesia. It's been happening since July, but the effect of which reaches a climax every September. It's a recipe for disaster. The haze is a result of palm oil plantation companies that own large swaths of Indonesian peat forest wilderness that use cheap and primitive slash and burn techniques during the annual dry season to clear the land for plantation of palm oil trees, known locally as kelapa sawit. Palm oil is big business. It's an ingredient for cosmetics, foodstuffs, and biodiesel, a source of energy in our increasingly industrialized world. And with Indonesia looking to double its palm oil output by the year 2020, it doesn't look like this haze is going to get better anytime soon. At face value, the peat forest being cleared is not as economically useful as tropical rainforest that provides the balsa wood for your home furniture and the rosewood oil for your perfume. They're more like hot girls, they're much more complicated and something that humans have yet to completely understand. 